first in today is Richard Bainbridge, eager to outscore his rivals and get through to Judgment Day tomorrow, despite having come last again in yesterday's program. You guys just got to keep bouncing back, you know, everything's still to play for. I want to prove them guys in the kitchen wrong as well. I want to kick them out of the water on the dessert. I think I need to. <laughs> So what are you doing today, Andy? Um, I'm doing a lavender junket with mead jelly and a rhubarb sorbet. So you're going to talk us through some of the ingredients we've got? Yeah, I've got the lavender. Smell that. That's obviously from Blickling Estate itself. I'm using some uh, rhubarb, and obviously the Norfolk mead, and I'm using some sea lavender honey. Again, it sounds interesting. It sounds like you've put a lot of thought into the ingredients. It's a bit more traditional. It's a little bit more simpler. There's not yeah. so much messing about or trying too hard. You know, I feel as though I've got quite a good chance today. So, in a bid to survive, Richard's completely changed tactics. He's abandoned the quirky, modernist style of his first three dishes in favour of an old-fashioned dessert made of flavoured, sweetened milk curds. Richard is still in the race. He's got a tall order, but I reckon if he pulls out the pudding of the day, then he could see himself in, in tomorrow's final. Richard's closest rival is Will Holland, who surged four points ahead of him in yesterday's show with an exceptional main course. But the young chef from Ludlow doesn't think the game's over yet by any means. Today, Rich is going to come out all guns blazing, like he is after me big time today. He's going to give it his last shot to catch me, so I need to be one step ahead of the game with him. I'm going to prepare a heather honey custard with rhubarb and elderflower. That sounds, uh, sounds interesting. Yeah, I found some fantastic produce while I was out on my, on my travels up at Cork Abbey, and that really inspired the dish. Beautiful, beautiful summer ingredients. So, first of all, for the custard, I'm going to use this cream, this uh, organic dairy. But instead of just doing cream, I'm going to do it as a, as a custard, and I'm going to flavour that with honey. Well, we're both using honey as well, which is interesting. Yeah. And then some rhubarb, and then I'm going to use some elderflower as well. Will has stuck to the brief and sourced many of his ingredients close to his historic property. His dessert looks simple, but he's a highly technical chef, and there's more to this dish than meets the eye. Has Will made his uh, life you know, a little bit hard for himself? Probably, but if you want to win, that's what you got to do. Our third chef today is Daniel Clifford, and although he's in the lead, he has no intention of resting on his laurels. I don't want to beat these guys by just scraping through. I want to beat these guys with a smile on my face, but also they know why I've beaten them, because my food was better. My dessert's going to be queen of puddings with strawberries and elderflower. It's, uh, it's an old pudding. I mean, we've got the junket as well. That's an old pudding, so are we bringing back classics? Well, it's a great British menu. It's a great, great British classic. Mm -hmm. It's queen of puddings, fit for the king. So I know it's got, like, a meringue and it's got strawberries. But basically what I'm doing is uh, obviously got to start to make the brioche then that's going to be, I'm going to caramelise that off to give it a different texture. That's going to be sitting with the Cambridge cream, bake that in the oven, then it's going to have a really nice strawberry jelly on top of that. Pipe the meringue on, salad of strawberries and elderflower on the top. And basically, I've kept it so simple that at the end of the day, I'm not stressing myself out. There'll be real pressure in the kitchen today because so much is riding on Glyn's verdict. I like the sound of the Queen's pudding with the meringue and stuff. And I quite like the sound of junkie, uh, Richard's junkie, which is uh, an old dish brought back. Uh, and again, Will's sounds quite tasty. So really, I'm pretty torn by just looking at the menus, really.